along with the warm up, uh, we're going to use this tool here. Um, this is basically a straight blade bar. You can find any one of these uh, at a at a of clubs. TVC might also work well. Uh, then I'm going to take you through a few um, basic exercises to strengthen your core. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, you are going to take the bar, you're going to put it over your head, you're going to try to get your trunk loosened up. So what you do is have your feet hip width apart. You're going to take, you're going to do rotary twists, you're trying to keep your head straight in front of you, and turn and twist side to side. You're going to do this for about a minute just to loosen up. Then you're going to take the bar and keep it behind your back, and you're going to do some basic squats. So you get the lower half of your body loosened up, with blood circulating, down and up. Basic body squats, thighs about parallel with the floor, pushing up through your heels. Okay, last thing you're going to do, come up, get your arms loosened up, and basic big arm circles on the shoulders, muscles down from your arms, loosen up. About 10 forward, 10 backwards. All that should take you about a minute or two, and then you're ready for your exercise. I'm going to be using this tool called Free Motion Cable Cross. It's, again, it's available at all our clubs. I'm going to take you through three basic exercises, all to strengthen your oblique core unit all the way around from the rectus to your lower lumbar area. First one, basic cable cross. Your left hand is facing out, covered by your right hand. Again, feet about shoulder width apart or hip width, keeping that head going forward. Rotate, slow control across your body. Breathing out as you come through. What you want to do is create a lot of torque in your obliques. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Turn. One thing you want to highlight, the lower half to stay stationary. When, within golf, you want to create power. The way you create power is to create as much torque for separation from the lower half, and that stays stabilized, and you twist around your spine. By twisting around your spine, you create a lot of range of motion, all that torque or power gets stored up, and then you come down into the ball. That's what makes you hit longer drives. So one here that actually simulates more of the golfing motion, because obviously you're starting up here, coming down through the ball, is called a wood chop. Again, same hand position, overlap grip, feet about shoulder width apart, starting up high, looking at your starting position, coming down to your opposite knee. Up, down to the opposite knee. Notice my legs are a little bit more bent in this position. You want to have them flexed. You still want to keep those arms straight and drive with those big rotary muscles. And again, you do the same thing on the other side. is actually not using this machine here, but it's using another tool called the kettlebell. The kettlebell is, a, is an exercise technique that works your entire body systemically, from your feet all the way through the top of your body. You want to use your glutes, hamstrings, and lower back to really fire away, that creates power. I'm going to show you the basic swing. Get in front of you, press the bell, out in front of you, overhand grip. I'm going to show you from two positions, one forward and one on the side. Grab the bell, you want to first step, it's hiking back behind you. This is the hike, and then this lift. You swing, you're thrusting your hips forward, keeping that head straight up. Now check it out from the side. Down, open the bar, butt back, leg back, thrust. That there will also create a lot of core strength, increased power, be able to be a better golfer, and hopefully, hitting it farther, it's your job to keep the ball in the fairway straight.